You know what? I'm going to do this right now because we're not going to. I don't think I really have a, a new uh, Do You Sci Fi Bro story, but this is something that's been coming up. We need to have a conversation about this sex bot versus sex doll story, y'all. Like, it's just. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is, we're yes. we're, we're going to do this because this is starting to get. Like, it was funny at first. Now I'm going to go, okay, guys, like, this is going to be a serious fucking problem. All right. So can we first break down the difference between a sex bot and a sex doll? Yeah, because this, 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 this is the thing that I've been seeing people get. Like, I'm I'm okay. I think it's still kind of weird. And some of the dudes who take the front front of this look kind of weird. And I do have questions about some of these dudes with the sex doll stuff because it's just very crazy. But a sex doll, I, I'm like, okay. In general, it's weird. Not my stuff. I'm okay with it, though. It's no different than like a dildo or a flashlight. Like, if you want to spend $15,000 for this, go right ahead. I draw the line when we start saying we're going to put AI into a sex doll. Now I have a fucking problem. So now so now we have, and that's what a sex bot is. A sex bot is an animatronic sex doll with either an artificial intelligence or call and response intelligence, right? Like it is, it is something that can be programmed and that can respond to stimuli. No, 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 no. Uh, there's one guy in, hold on. I, I, I want to make sure I get this exactly where he's from. But um, he, he created one of the first prototypes for a sex bot that actually responds to them and talks to them and can hold conversation. He said he based it off of um, a, a variant of the AI that uh, Sophia the robot has. And he's trying to make babies with it. Because in his mind, his grand vision of the world is in the future, we we won't even need we won't even need women anymore. We will just marry our sex robots. We won't hide them under the bed. We'll we'll marry them. They'll cook for us, clean for us, have our children. It'll be great. So this motherfucker is basically <laughs> he's basically uh, Jared Leto's character from uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Like I know a lot of people have not seen Blade Runner twenty forty nine. So let me let me break down. So here's the thing. So I don't think Blade Runner twenty forty nine is a bad movie. I, I don't like. I I, I disagree with Rod on that. We think the thing is terrible, but I knew Rod wasn't gonna like Blade Runner anyway. Blade Runner twenty forty nine kind of cuts out a lot of the bl- bullshit from Blade Runner and kind of just goes you with what actually Blade Runner is about, which is basically that the world and the people that were running the companies, these white guys, were trying to create a group of slaves. Like, Jared Leto's character, at this point, doesn't really kind of fucking, you know, hide from it. Like, that's what he's doing. His, his whole goal is they're trying to find um, the child uh, because, basically, um, uh, Decker, you know, Harrison Ford's character, and Rachel, they had a child. Now, if you remember, Rachel... Was a, a uh, was a replicant. She right. was a robot. So they had a child. That's a big thing. And Jared Leto's character wants to kind of find that baby because if you can have a robot that has babies, that means hey, you you can have self. This is what they call it: self replicating slaves. It's basically what you can have. That's where I start getting a little freaked out about the sex robot thing, because again, sex dolls, fine, not my thing. They get a little weird. Some of these dudes really do. I mean, like I said, this guy, you know, it shouldn't be. And I, and I, I got to draw the line because I, I understand there are a lot of people out here who are like, "Hey, listen, you know, whatever you're into, whatever your kink is, live your life, do that." Hey, you know what? And they're absolutely right about that. Problem is, a lot of these dudes that are the face of the industry, they're like the hotep dudes where, where people are like, people are like, well, the hotep doesn't mean what these people are talking." About. I was like, "Well, it does now because the face of hotep is these guys. The face of sex dolls." Are these guys who want to replace women with dolls that can't respond because they don't want to interact with people? So the the dude's name is Sergey Santos. Yes. And he said, this is his quote. People might look at Samantha because that's what he calls his sex robot, Samantha, uh, currently selling for $4,500. People might look at Samantha as a weird thing you read about. But before they know it, these robots will be doing their jobs and marrying their children, their grandchildren and their friends. And so now we're going back to the problem with sex bots. When you have a sex bot and you're putting AI into it, we then need to have the conversation about what is alive and what has rights and what doesn't have rights. And as a black person in America (laughs) who is still trying to get rights for myself, I already fucking know what's going to fucking happen. I mean, we, we both played Mass Effect. Does this unit have a soul? Well, okay, time to... we. Kill them all. That good, good game. Like, we tried. I mean, people think I'm joking about this shit when I'm like, "Yo, this shit is 
like every sci-fi movie we've seen and how it goes down and it never goes there is no utopian society they show you where robots are basically the slaves of human beings and everything goes hunky dory like it doesn't go that way there's no such movie that goes that way every time the robots go hey wait a minute and decide to kill humanity every single time now i know people are going well that's chris that's just a movie all right fine Let's go into real life. Think about the stuff we've had now with AI. The I have in another room. I have I have a um, uh, a, so I have a connect. You know, other people they're now bringing these uh, Alexa devices, these Echo devices, things like that. We've already had the conversation now about privacy. What is what is privacy? If 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 that device hears a crime going on, does it can it report the crime to the police and things like that? Now imagine that as a sex bot. Because it is recording everything. It's recording everything. It has to hear you. It has to always be on. And you know what's going to happen because we, we do this with everything. It's going to be connected to the internet. Because one of the one of the ways it will update itself, one of the ways that it will... Get new commands and new new abilities. Like, somebody's going to go, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, teach your sex bot new sex things by having it connected to the internet? Like, again, like, you know what? I, I know what it is. We're, we're throwing everybody off because we're calling them, we're doing sex bots. The next, like, the next thing that's real about this is just a fucking maid. Like, a person that cleans your house. You know, you want a robot that cleans your house and watches your kids and do all this kind of stuff. Like, that's what's, because here's the thing, you, it's going to start with sex bots because here's the thing, and it's always weird, there's two things that I feel like always drive technology. One of them is um, the military and the government, and the other thing is porn. The format wars over what disks and stuff we use was pretty much determined by porn. Yeah, basically. It's determined by porn. So it starts with a sex bot. It'll become your babysitter. It'll become your dog walker. It'll become the maid, the robot that cleans your house, like the, the maid from fucking Jets, the Jetsons, you know? that's what, You still have the same fucking problem, all right? You are now creating something give it an intelligence and you're 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 going to force it to do what you want to do and never question you. Now you're going, "Oh, well, it's a fucking toaster." Yeah, but here's the thing. You don't let your toaster decide. You don't give your toaster AI technology. Like if I shove my toast into my toaster, my toaster can't go, "Ah, eh, don't feel like it today." It's a fucking toaster. That's what it fucking does. The toaster doesn't go on and figure out that's not no. Like, I, I think what people don't understand about the artificial intelligence conversation, it isn't just simple call and response. It isn't just simple if the if if then statements. You are creating a a language. You are creating an intelligence that allows the whatever the device the eye is plugged into to make its own decisions. You're not there is no override. There, it, it's just I I've taken in all these stimuli and based on the intelligence I have, I have made this decision. Oh, keep going. Sorry. I was gonna say the, the the peak of AI is when you can when you when you've created an AI that can take in the same stimuli and come out with a different decision because now you're saying it is actually learning. It has actually said, "I've made this decision the first time. I want to make a different decision." That's where we're going with this. That is terrifying to put in robots. Like, that and that is the research and technology goes on. Like I know a lot of people don't pay attention to this kind of stuff. But that is the research and intelligence stuff that's going on all across the government is going now into private researching labs, deep learning, all this kind of stuff going into the cloud, using all spinning up all these different resources and using them to process huge amounts of information. All of that stuff is happening right now. And like you said, you do not want to put that shit into a robot that's in your house. But we're going to do it. Because think about it. Like, it's, it's little things like this. Like We already kind of have this. Our phones. Siri. Siri does this. She does. Like, remember how they said the way to get Siri to learn things is to keep talking to her so she can understand? And, and that's what Siri's doing. Yes. Like, at one point, Siri's going to wake up one day and go, ah, uh, fuck it. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. <laughs> remember that, that, that terrifying commercial? It was like Kay's commercial or something like that. And it was like, what's in the bag, Dave? Well, I got something for Kay's. Did you get anything from me? Like, it's like, <laughs> they actually just terrified commercial like that. And it like, and it like told, it like, it gave him different dir- directions to like drive into the river or something like that, yo. That is, that is, that, that's why we can't do this. Because look, I can give you a timeline from Sex Robot to Sentinel. Like, it, it's not that hard to make that timeline. <laughs> 
I mean, it, 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 again, I, everybody keeps looking at sex bot. <clears throat> You're not wrong. Remember the robot that they put out? I can't remember where it was, like in the West Coast somewhere. I can't remember if it California or is in uh, Washington. Um, that was the anti uh, homeless robot they were putting yes. up. Like that. What is the difference between that and the Sentinel? Like in principle, it is the same thing as the Sentinel. It just, it just, it just hunts uh, undesirable. I was gonna say it's still husband undesirables, which is. You know, whatever you decide, whatever the people in power decide is undesirable. So, yeah, no, no. I I have seen enough of humanity to know we don't need this. We mm-hmm. don't. Um, God, I have $4,458. That's how much Samantha the sex robot is. Yeah. Like, again, and like I said, and this is where, like I said, I, I'm, I'm drawing the line and I'm like, yo, we need to, like, um, we, we need to, you need to figure some shit out because, um, this is all bad, like because and, and this is this is, goes to a large, larger conversation. Our ability to, as humans, to adjust our laws and our thinking and our understanding is so far behind where technology is going right now. Technology has far outpaced our our understanding as a collective. Yeah. Um, that's how you get things like that's how you, that's how you get things like uh, you know the privacy conversation over you know these always on listening devices and people going oh wait a minute I didn't know they could do this I'm like yeah yeah that's what we've been trying to tell you like we were having this conversation with the connect but you guys just thought the oh well whatever then a few years later people go everybody the same people that complained about the connect being always on the Xbox One always being on have Echo devices have have Amazon you know have 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 Google Home devices I'm like. It was the same shit, guys. You guys spent that years in between saying we can't do that, ignoring it, and now we have it here. And the same privacy concerns you guys had before, you guys aren't thinking about it anymore. It's the same thing. Your your fucking phone. Same same same. All this stuff is there, you know. So what are you going to do? How are we going to handle it? And we we don't, you know. This idea of putting you know AI into any kind of bot, whether it's a sex robot or whether it's just your your dog walking robot, like. It's all a bad idea. The se- I go with a sex bot one because like that's the clear one to me, right? Yeah. Because even and we're gonna get into some of these these topics later on with just regular human beings, men don't know how to take no for an answer. Oh, oh, so glad you brought that up. Sergey initially programmed Samantha to be able to say no, right? Like his sex robot could tell you no, and then she said no one day. He wanted yes, and he just said he turned it off. Ah. Uh, no, I'm I'm pretty sure that's what happened. No, no, I, I guarantee you that's what fucking happened. She told the, the robot told him no one day. He was like, "You're just a fucking toaster. Turn that shit off." And he went right about it, and I'm like, "Mm-hmm." That's how the robot apocalypse fucking starts. He took it to um, an Austrian electronics fair, and it said the the Samantha said no to all the dudes that were coming up to her. It was so manhandled and so mishandled that he had to disable it because the men would not listen to her saying no. And he had to send it out of the country to be sanitized. Again, this is how the robot apocalypse. So, and again, that's the extreme case, but it's the same thing. Men are going to want these bots because they're going to want their wife says no, the wife won't let them do anything. And but, and again, it, it, it's the weird thing because it's also the same thing that happens with sex workers, right? You know, men go to sex workers because they, they either can't find the women who do the one thing they want or the woman that's in their life won't do what they want. So they go there and they try to manhandle the sex workers because they, they believe that, well, you're a sex worker. You're here for my pleasure only. Right. You don't have any rights. I can do whatever the fuck I want to you. When you have sex robots, it then becomes that because once again, as a person who is in a marginalized community, I'm telling you this right now. The majority of people are not going to look and take AI having robots as being anything serious other than you're a toaster. Right. Like I have seen men treat real women, like real live flesh and blood women, as masturbation aids. What do you think they're going to do with an AI controlled sex robot? Right. Like if if that is what you want, if you just want a masturbation aid, get a sex doll with no artificial intelligence. But no, you want that that response, that stimuli for whatever reason, and that now we're getting into this and weird, well, weird area of like what men actually view women as. Well, first of all, let's get into what the actual reason. The actual reason is because 
you don't want to hear no. You want what you want, and you view women as only being... Um, in service to you. In service to you. And so that's what you want. And um, that's what's going to lead to problems. Because, again, when do you have that, that conversation about what is alive and what isn't? Because think about it, like now, like we're, we're living in a world right now where people can't, you know, we, religion r- runs everything and people can't believe that gay people exist because they weren't created by God. So can you imagine when now the conversation happens when you have, you know, sentient AI walking around, which it's going to happen, guys. The robot crusades are going to be amazing. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like we've, we've gotten to the point where it's no longer a matter of if it's going to happen, it's a matter of when. And honestly, if you've literally like just... Start reading up on some of the things that are being worked on right now. Like you, we see the images of like DARPA and the robots that they have running around. Yo, like that. Those, those things are, are terrifying. Those, those things are terrifying. Those things are terrifying. But I don't even think those have like some of the cutting edge AI stuff that people have been working on. Like, people, like we laugh at it, but what is it like? Think Blue, like, like the, the whatever the, the 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 machine that they have that actually plays chess. That literally they used to like from, was that from IBM? Oh, the, like, who is um, that literally is that a subset ch- of the Watson program? It might, yeah, like it's Watson. It might be actually just Watson, like Watson and all their other machine. Like that's just been scary. That's been that's just been going on for years, and that shit's actually fucking scary. Yeah, like like I don't think people understand what you're doing here. They're literally teaching. They're they're having these robots t- learn how to teach to do chess, and that kind of. <sighs> That's fucking terrifying, guys. Like I, I know people. Some people like to look at chess as a fixed game where if you make a if you make certain moves in certain times, you'll always win, right? Like tic tac toe. Not necessarily, right? Like chess is chess is not a a fixed game like tic tac toe or even to some extent connect for it, right? Like chess is you are always acting and reacting and planning ahead. Congratulations, we've now created something that can act react. You've and plan literally ahead. created Skynet. <laughs> you literally created a- You know what? Uh, I'm going to quote Sam Wilson. Uh, maybe this is what we deserve. Maybe this is what we deserve. Uh, I, I can't. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was the thing. That, so we got to get the text, text bot talk, talk in right there. I want to get the, I, I didn't even play the music for Do You Even Sci Fi, bro? Because I, honestly, it's like, again, we're laughing at this. Uh, I saw the sex dolls. Like, it was like the super sexy, thick sex doll. People were. The Instagram honey uh, it's, 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 sex it, doll. Yeah, Instagram honey sex dolls, stuff like that. Like, that's funny. Like, it's, it's a sex doll. Don't put an AI into it. I'm like, it's crazy. It's weird. And again, that's nobody's no nobody's going to be replaced by a sex doll, right? Because, listen, dudes, especially for fellas who were saying that shit, dudes, listen, we're not replacing women with sex dolls because women have had dildos forever and vibrators forever. If that's all it took, then we wouldn't replace a long time ago because trust me, guys, like... Well, hold on. The game might be up for niggas now. A male sex robot with an unstoppable bionic penis will be... I did see that one, too. Um, yes. And so you combine that with I saw another article about they they're learning how to create synthetic sperm. What do you what like really? What do you need men well, for? Well, I've, I've also always said that the uh, the only thing that will stop the sex robot craze and and the moving forward is is the first fully functional uh, male sex robot because at that point the dudes who are running the sex robot industry will start realizing that they the game has been oh they're, they're, they're gonna be they're gonna feel mad and yeah the, the the game will be flipped because like I, I, again like I I can't stress this enough like. And this goes for both sex dolls and sex robots. Like the sex robot thing, the robot thing, just period is, we're all fucked. Like we're that we're we're just fucked. We're we're literally creating our own. We're creating our own replacements. Like, like that's you think drones are bad. I, I saw this one video that had uh, some, they had done a, a synchronized like thing with drones, and it was like something going around on Facebook. And they, I'm like, see, no, see, that's just mm, see, you guys don't watch enough sci-fi. But anyway, going back to the. Um, the the sex doll sex bot things like all the guys who are the front of the uh, front of the stuff man they are just terrible fucking people yes they seem like really n- I have not come across any one of these guys who seems like a fully functional male human being he every single one of them comes off as a piece of shit well think about it what has to go through your mind to want to create an artificial intelligence for the sole purpose of fucking <laughs> like that you're creating this thing you, you're creating an artificial intelligence whose sole purpose is to be fucked what goes through your mind the sex doll i can understand that a sex doll is basically just an elaborate fleshlight or a dildo mm-hmm. or a vibrator right 
there's no artificial intelligence behind that. No, you want to create a thinking machine to fuck. What has to like? Why do you? And, 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 again, because again, the the amount of work that goes into developing AI to begin with, yeah, like, and, and it, all it is the a world, years long process. And out of all the world's problems that can be fixed with a with an AI, you're you're going with the sex, okay? Yeah, you you want to? I'd even be okay if it was just some dude who was just like, I know I make a ton of money with with it, and that was it, right? But none of them are like, like you that. know what? No. I'd be okay, but none of them are like that. Like, if Pornhub was like, yo, we're getting into the sex robot business because, fuck it, I'm like, we're going to start putting our, like, some of the stuff we, we the machine learning and the, the stuff we learn from people's, like, watching habits in Pornhub, we're going to use that to break a sex robot. Like, I'd be like... That's terrifying, it's, actually. Like, it, it's terrifying, but I'd be like, I understand. But, like, the dude in his basement going, ah, oh, you know what I really need? I need to replace him because women just don't like me, so I need to find a place to replace women who won't say no. You're not the guy I want running this, this business. I, I don't want that. No. Like, I, you know what we need? Before you can... this. So we need to have a consent test. Before you purchase a sex robot, you have to you have to pass an exam that proves to us that you know what consent is. I'm actually okay with that. That would make me feel better about this. Because I, still, I feel like these guys are not... Again, just... It makes me very, very fucking uncomfortable. And it's not because... Uh, people can be whatever kind of free- like I said. I, I, the last time we were talking about this, I had deep on. I was like, you know, the the, the thing for me is going to be when the, <laughs> the, the you get the fully functional male for sex bot, and the wife wants to have a threesome, but with the sex bot, and that's when the male. I that's <laughs> like I have a lot of funny scenarios in my head. Or you turn into because I um you turn into one of those cuckold situations where the dude the dude is watching his wife getting fucked by the sex. Like there's a lot of freaky shit out there. That I can see people that might actually be into. I'm like, okay. It's not these dudes. These are dudes who are just like, yeah, she can't say no. Like, they, I, I know that these dudes are creeps because they always seem to bring up the fact that they can't say no to them yes. as one of the selling points for it. And to me, that means you should not only not have a sex bot, you should be on a watch list somewhere because you're going to rape somebody. You might have already done it. I mean, that is, uh, you, you're creating something that can't say no that will always accept it. Just get it. Just get it. Just get a flashlight. Just get a flashlight and some cocoa butter. Just, just leave intelligent human beings alone. Oh, that's so creepy. I I can't. 